Which of the following reactions does not give terbutyl benzene? Our choices are benzene with different kinds of groups, so let's go ahead and go through each choice and see whether we will get terbutyl benzene or not. Terbutyl benzene looks like a benzene ring that must be connected to a terbutyl group, which looks like this. So that's what we're looking for is the product, and if it is not our product, that will be the answer to this question. My choice A is, is, a is benzene with this molecule, CH3, CH33CCl with AlCl3. So let's go ahead and do it. We have a benzene ring, and we have CH3, so we have carbon connected. Actually, I'm going to draw it as lines. It might be easier. So we have three um, methyl groups connected to a carbon that is connected to Cl, and we have AlCl3. This reaction is called Friedel-Crafts reaction, Friedel-Crafts alkylation. So in Friedel-Crafts alkylation, we have a benzene ring, and we have an R group. Some, some sort of hydrocarbon chain that is connected to um, Cl, AlCl3, and basically our hydrocarbon chain attaches to the benzene ring. Now we have to note that three arrangements are possible, but since the carbon connected to chlorine here is a very stable carbon, it's tertiary, there would be no rearrangements in this molecule, and so the carbon that had the chlorine will connect to our benzene ring. This carbon, I'm going to uh, dot it. This is the carbon. It will lose the chlorine and it will connect to the benzene ring just like, like we showed in the prototype. And therefore, choice A will give me terbutyl benzene. So I can get rid of it because this does give me the product I was looking for. Now let's go ahead and go through choice B. We have a benzene ring. And we have, we have CH3, two, two methyl groups, carbon, with a double bond like this. And then we have H2SO4. Now students might be less familiar with this reaction, but this is another case of adding an alkyl group to the benzene ring. The way it happens is because H2SO4 is an acid, the double bond will take hydrogen from H2SO4. Let's just draw it out here so we do everything correctly. So the double bond will take the hydrogen, and, and so it will basically put hydrogen on one carbon from the double bond and a positive charge on the other. The positive charge must go on the more substituted carbon. So we will get this carbocation, and this carbon gets a hydrogen, which sometimes we don't draw, but I have drawn it to show you. So that's the carbon with a positive charge. And this molecule now is an electrophile that can add to the benzene ring. The benzene ring can attack it, so it will be attacking and attaching to this carbon. So if we go ahead and show the product, this is the carbon we're attaching to and it has one, two, three methyl groups. I didn't show the hydrogens. There were two hydrogens here to begin with, so there would be three all together. So we will go ahead and draw three methyl groups, and this is also gives us the product that we were looking for, terbutyl benzene. So that cannot be our case either. Now let's go ahead and do C. We have a benzene ring. And uh, we have CH33CA, so we have this, but this one is just a hydrogen, which I don't have to show, but I will, with AlCl3. So what would this give me? It does look like the Friedel-Crafts alkylation I have shown before. However, notice the lack of living group, such as chlorine. There is no chlorine, there is a hydrogen here. So would this be able to take place? No, it will not, because this is missing an essential part of the molecule. This molecule should have been like this, where there is a chlorine, and that's how Friedel-Crafts alkylation happens. Since there is no chlorine here, um, it could be bromine also, but there is no living group here, that molecule, the reaction will not be able to take place. So this must be my answer, answer C. 
we will go ahead and look at Z and see how does Z give me a product that I'm looking for. Also, just to check all the answers. So I have a benzene ring and I have three carbons with an OH and H2SO4. And again, what happens is OH is a bad living group. However, when it is, um, when it is uh, seeing an acid next to it, it's going to take hydrogen from the acid. It's going to get protonated. So I'll just do it like this. And it becomes OH2+, plus, which is a much better leaving group. And then this leaving group can leave, creating a carbocation, just like the carbocation that I made previously in part B. And now my benzene ring can attach this carbo can attach to this carbocation and can give me the product, the same product as before, because it will be attaching to this carbon. So the product here should be the same. This is the dotted carbon, and that carbon is connected to three methyl groups. Therefore, the answer choice for this question must be C, benzene with CH3, three CH, AlCl3. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. I really hope that you found this video helpful. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in more of my organic chemistry and general chemistry videos.